Green Dolphin Street is one of the most unusual dining experiences I've had in Chicago. It's a terrific combination of good food, uh, a great environment, and terrific jazz. Um, it's uh, located in uh, the heart of the city in a very industrial area, but you walk through the door and it's this beautiful uh, park-like setting with some of the uh, most terrific uh, fresh ingredients, organically grown food uh, that I've had in a long, long time. It's uh, primarily uh, a jazz venue, uh, but it really mixes it up. Sometimes it's more traditional jazz, sometimes it's Latin-focused jazz. It's free admission to the club for any of the uh, diners in the restaurant, and the cover charge ranges from free to about $20 if you haven't enjoyed dinner there that evening. I really enjoyed it. It was a great pick. I can't even count how many times I've driven by. You're right on the Chicago River. There's a beautiful, like, yard. Um, I didn't love the food. But I loved the atmosphere, and I would definitely go back. But um, I was a little disappointed in my entree. Mm. What did you have? What didn't you love about the food? I had a garlic roasted ravioli, mm -hmm. and it was tasty. But it was um, it was served at room temperature, and I think it was supposed to be served hot. Mm, yeah, absolutely. I had the same experience. Mine was not room temperature; it was cold. The mm. water was warm, the food was cold. I agree that the music was fabulous. Uh, the vocalist was absolutely incredible. But I was very disappointed in the menu. The food, maybe they were trying too hard with the menu. Uh, it does remain one of my favorite places for food. Uh, my experience has really been very different. I'm not particularly a pasta eater, so I never have had the pasta there. Um, we eat a lot of fish, and I had a delicious piece of crispy skinned white fish the last time we went. My wife had the uh, tuna, which was done just perfectly. Also had the tuna, which I was not impressed with at all. But I did like, I must say, it was the best piece of lamb I think I've ever eaten. We had the heirloom tomato salad and the um, artisanal cheese plate mm -hmm. as the appetizer, but we didn't have an explanation of what cheese, what the cheeses were. And if the waiter had told us that, we would have appreciated it more. Sure. I would definitely, like I said, go back there mm -hmm. for the entertainment. It's the kind of place that can become almost a weekly Friday night place if you just want to really hear some very good music.